Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the end of the Mondays. And we continue with stories, the path of destinies. So, previously, we have finally discovered the fourth truth, which was Zenobia still has feelings for Reynardo. However, I am now wondering where must the story continue? Where does it end? Is there an end, or is he just doomed to be shown multiple failings and whatever he's trying to do, just give in? And I'm also wondering why the further down, like why Lapino is the traitor is the shortest truth on these. I've noticed that. Well, we'll just have to see as we turn the pages back and dive right back in. The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again, faster than before, hmm? and he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Uh? Of course. Renato what? had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. That's a new and symbol. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Haha! Oh, that's new. Key, lock. Let's see. Look, key, lock. It's time for the truths to come together. Let's go. Renato finally realized that Lapino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. <laughs> oh, that's new. Well, let's have a go. Renato couldn't quite put his paw on when he'd realized Lapino was working for the Empire. He'd never exactly seen Lapino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lapino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times, and Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. There were a lot of shiny, smooth, and curved with leather buckles, and uh, kind of smelled. Uh... You know what? Never mind. Yes, there was also ore and other useful stuff. Let's focus on that, shall we? But he'd always felt that the rabbit resented him. Lupino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Hmm. <clears throat> that is a good question. Ravens were landing everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence he'd been stealing from the Rebellion and they'd probably give him a medal. He'd have to be very careful about how he played Lapino. 
At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a well, like a rabbit. rabbit. It was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Betray him. The core was dangerous. Now, Renata had a fleeting idea that the two ideas went together somehow. And then it was gone again. Ah, oh, damn ideas. Hmm. They never stuck around when you needed them. Hmm, the core was dangerous. That's an interesting little tidbit. I might consider that. Yeah, it's not a half bad idea. Bloody and exhausted, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Now that he knew what the rabbit was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You sent me an Keep. urgent message saying that you're in danger. Keep oh, up yeah. appearances. The ravens are coming. Now, I've got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it. But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim the Third might blow himself and his fleet up with it. That's it! Yes, that was it. Let's give that a shot. Renato felt like a real hero. Brave and smart. He told the rabbit all about the Sky Ripper's God's Eye core. I'll go get the core while you attack Zenobia, he told the rabbit. But wait, I've got a better idea. I'll get the core, and you attack Zenobia. Yeah! <laughs> right, yeah. That is, that is better. better! Agreed, Renato. Perfect. Perfect! The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. Yep. Now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. Hmm. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. It's coming Zenobia, together! He could save her and bait the Emperor yes! at the same time. And I only needed help with the first one. That's how you do it, right. game designers. Now, all Renato had to do was fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops, sneak onto her ship and into her bedroom, and kidnap her without any of her dozens of guards alerting her. Then Easy. He would rely on her love for him to convince her how evil her father was, so she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. Hmm. It yeah. did sound a little risky. But Renato had a feeling it would work out somehow. Oh. Always did. Hmm. But that still leaves out the Iblis stone, doesn't it? What the? Another feeling. That's why I do these. Wait, what are you doing here? Renato was halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lapino showed up. He was disheveled and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Oh, they got the core. Oh, it was all going according to plan, yes! thought Renato. Now he just needed Zenobia on his side. 
Yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Wait. No. Yeah. The gem would corrupt anyone. Even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even though Lapino was already a traitor. It would turn him yeah. into <laughs> the master, the Emperor. Here we go. He would try to make himself Emperor. And the Emperor would have to defend himself with, with the, the core. core. Boom. He was a super genius. Send Lapino for the Iblis Stone. This is terrible, Renata told the rabbit. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone. But now it's lost in enemy territory. He handed Lapino a map. It gives the bearer so much power. We can only hope the Emperor never finds it. What was that? said Lapino. I, I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. Rabbit ears. You go on ahead. I'll take it out. <laughs> and with that, Lapino hopped off with the map. All four truths are coming together swimmingly. And now, onward to Zenobia. Yeah. Oh, right. Ah. Okay. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. She was curled up on her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was, how sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you really think you could capture me? Purred a familiar voice. I just wanted to chat, said Renato. Mm -hmm. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him to make a bargain with the lost gods. That's a vicious lie. He wants to bring them back. That, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone... They could make him immortal. An eater of souls. And with that, her eyes widen. She understood. Renato told her how he had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred. How he had slept in a burnt village. At midnight, the Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. He could still see those kittens and puppies. Their wide, sad eyes, their moist noses. You can't prove that. I've got a witness at the observatory. Yep. Back we go. Back to the Nexus. He couldn't tell her, not yet, why he was really here. He didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and Lapino up. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors his majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this ring a bell? He said. He told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I always hated that about you, said Renato. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Good reason to be collecting these ores now that... Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you join in? Uh, no! I'd destroy his books and, and I'd... Oh god. Okay, you're not completely wrong. They've resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she said.
But if you remember, we all know what has become of it by now. And I believe the remains of it are down this way. There it is. Or, there it was. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken special care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared at the carnage. He didn't want me to hear the witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So, Renato explained his brilliant gambit. Sending Lapino to get the Ibla Stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them, and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? Yes, you can! He'd done it. He'd made Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He wished she didn't feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base, and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. Yes! As he should. What had Zenobia gone off to do? What was more important than meeting the rebel council? Had he made a mistake, sending her to the ruins? No. He knew they could trust each other. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Well, she'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way through rainstorms of ravens. Meanwhile, I will. Huh. Hmm. He thought about Hypatia. Oh, she'd been an amazing rabbit. She could talk to him about comics, and talk to her son about history and battles, and talk to scholars about the ancient tomes hidden deep in the vaults of the Library of Ubar. Oh, Renato really missed her. Hmm. What are you doing here, Lapino? As he came around the bend, there was Lapino, unconscious. And oh, and is that what? Smell a familiar, sweet, smoky scent. Who? Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant she had the Iblis Stone. Oh no 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 no! What do to her? <clears throat> she hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The council wouldn't mind if she killed the Emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. Nope. Come on, let me... There we go, before it saw me. These things really slice like ham. They really do. I mean, just look. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So Oops. far, so good. Ah. Ah. Come on, give me ice!
There's the doors. Pina was supposed to have the stone, not Zenobia. Oh boy. I hope she's being responsible with it. Everyone in the council chamber was dead. <gasps> Zenobia stood shivering in the courtyard. Uh... Drenched in blood. Why? He managed. They they started arguing with me. I lost my temper and I, I wanted their blood. Not me. The stone did. Uh... Why did you take it from the Pino? I had a plan. You had a, a stupid plan, she said. I'm going to go kill my father now. Don't! No! You can't! You'll... You'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way, or I'll kill you too. I need to stop you. <laughs> you won't kill me, he said. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? He could sense the Inra Stone, yearning for his death. But she didn't strike. If you kill him, he'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. Not for anything. Get away from me! He said, and he was very close. I can't lose you again. And he was in reach of a sword now. I hate him! I hate you too! I love you. He said for the very first time. And then uh, she was weeping. He was yes! Holding. The sword had yes. dropped in her hand. He glanced at the Iblis stone. Kick it away! It was no longer the black of the void. Uh oh. It looked like coal. No. That's not it good. Glowed. Like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling into ashes. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. So what happens now? The, the final Empire confrontation. The ship. They'd have to take it back. Hmm. So what happens now? It seems to be Brent. Like the scenery is the same, but things seem to be branching off quite wildly now. Wasn't the... or maybe it was in the next one. Now, there it is. Hmm. Let's go back this way, though. Let's go this way this time. Zenobia was in no shape to fight, mm. but he'd never fought so well. He wasn't fighting for money or loot or a cause. He was fighting for her, for them. Mm. His sword danced, his feet flew, and the ravens recoiled from his ferocity. Mm. There you go. That's more like it. Renata remembered when the Emperor had first come to the throne. He built universities and libraries. He used to invite scientists to dinner. What could have made that toad so afraid of death that he would risk bringing back the lost gods? Hmm. Hmm. 
me see. Beautiful Skycraft, the Farfarer. They would fare very far indeed. Beyond the Empire, beyond the reach of the Empire, to the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right, and straight on till morning, laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first yes. time in a long time. Yes. Right there. Oh, darn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, good. I need a new rug for my nest, said the lead raven. Come on. There. Yeah. Renato went to the china shop. For some reason, the owner was always nervous. Yeah. named Elon Musk had to start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. Right there.
think this is the tough, seems to be the toughest one because it's the finale. Did it. But they did not go unnoticed. Scout ships lifted off, and a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Bernardo turned downwind to gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue, but they couldn't close. The far speaker croaked, You return her and live! Go sacrifice yourself, yelled Bernardo. Then you won't have her either. Huh? On the flagship. The Emperor was readying some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was the core. A devastating beam. No. Zigzagged wildly to keep the Farfair out of it. Now the Raven scout ships were closing the distance. And the beam was getting closer too. Then came a blinding flash. And the air was searingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous, deafening roar. He could smell burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh but when he could hear and see again they were alive and unhurt what and they were alone in the sky Zenobia embraced him they had done it through huh? luck and through love they had won the war huh? Avalon here we come he said as he held her arms yes in the prow of the boat and let her feel its speed maybe the real Avalon it's wherever we're yes. together, she said. And so, after a bit of an argument, Renardo and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalones. The one shrouded in mists. Or the one in their hearts. But which one they went to, I'll never tell. Woohoo! He'd done it. He'd forged his own destiny. Well, he hadn't actually done done it. But he knew what he would do. Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kiss it. The kid's sacrifice hadn't been in vain. He'd save the book and save the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato mm -hmm. lowered the mainsail and let the farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. This time, he would win. Oh, so it was all in the book. Well, that was stories, the path of destinies. My honest opinion, it's a great time, like it's a great thing to play when like it's got a good story to it, it's good to pass the time, it's a good beat em up. It's, and it rewards uh, secret seeking. And if you pay attention, well, it rewards that too. Let's see. I think I gotta. <clears throat> right. But, yep. But yes, I am most pleased, especially towards the end. Though I will admit, if you're just going in blindly and not seeking out the end, it can drag a little bit. But, the way it all comes together, that, that was exhilarating, to see it all come together like that. Oof. <laughs> well, I 
gave this one a chance. So is there an end credits? Or will it just return? I think it'll just return. Yep. Here a path was completed. Iblis Stone and Sky Ripper always. Oh! I see. If you remember the parts where I went after the Iblis Stone and the Sky Ripper, then that means that not only will I recover whenever I defeat enemies, but I'll also have a. Uh, what I'd like to call an option. Uh, helping me to defeat them. So, that might help speed things along. So, yes. That. Whoop. What? What was that? That's weird. Why can't I see anything? Okay, well. Anyways, uh, oh well, there we go. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> that's going to do it. So, if you liked what you've seen, be sure to tune in next week, same time. I do plan on doing a bit of a bonus episode. I might see how many of these stories I can't knock out in two hours if I just run straight through it. See if I can't figure out uh, any ways to take them out. I might put up a Twitter. I might put up put it up on Twitter unless this is way in the future, in which case you might miss out. But yes. Be sure to check out my Twitter page, and be sure to tune in next week, same time. And with all that said, this has been the end of a Monday. Hope you all have a good night.